Welcome back everybody, I'm Kiralis and this is the Create Mod. It's a series which I'm doing together with Tango Tech, Zedov, Good Times with Scar, and the guy with the beautiful face, not as beautiful as my face, but still quite beautiful, B Bubble Bubble O. In previous episode, we created this contraption. It works and it kind of makes me happy. It is a... Ski lift, gondola, cable car, doesn't matter. As long as it works, I'm happy. One thing which I wanted to do is get those little like cable cars or gondolas to stop at the stations so people could get off and on, right? And you guys told me like, they don't stop at the stations, they just slow down. And Kiralis, you have those flippity floppa switches and they control the speed of the rails, right? And let me see, is it coming? Oh, okay, hurry up. So we have a hidden one over here. Let's maybe just slow it down. Uh, shift click this to two maybe. And two on this. Okay, how are we looking? comes around full speed and then it should slow down see you guys are geniuses this is why you should be doing youtube not me and then you just jump in this is great ah <sighs> perfect oh oh almost crushed i guess maybe let me see here so we have two on this you know what let's change that to maybe four and then it should just slow down as it comes around here slows down a little bit and then perfect just perfect so up next would be to get the this wheel moving but we need something which can power that because i want to have this moving and that will move in for reasons unknown decoration i guess and also i did remove a few gondolas because uh it's a little bit framey on on the server in places so i'm a little bit worried about lag because it's kind of like in the early stages but but hopefully we can prevail yes of course we can prevail but yeah we need a better power source for this and Currently, I only have, we only have the water wheels, which are not generating enough stress units. And then we have um, the wind turbine, which technically should generate quite, quite a bit, right? That generates 2,560 stress units, but it does power pretty much everything in the house. So that uses 320, 160, those uses stuff. We get stuff over here. Oh, hello, sir. But what are you doing over here? Uh huh. Interesting. So yeah, we need a better power source. Uh, so we need to kind of figure that out. But first, I've seen stuff in the city. This is great. Day since last incident, 23. I believe Tango has collected the trains. Yeah, look at that. Kise kise saki saki, and it works. And uh, let me see here. So there's a conveyor belt up here. It goes. Hmm. Maybe maybe it's not turned on over there in the. Mm hmm. That's what I've seen in the city. Oh, sir, you need to step away from the train tracks. Or can we? Uh, this way. <laughs> no, no, God. I would be a terrible person if I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He died. Ed. Oh, how unfortunate. There's a train behind you. <laughs> oh, he didn't die. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not a terrible person. I'm just a person. And this... Oh my goodness, Tango, this is beautiful. Oh, okay. So, I guess this might not be turned on. Oh, okay. A little bit of, 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 of a tight lobby when you go get, get into this factory. Um, Kiralis, don't press any buttons or whatnot because you will break stuff. You know what? Buttons are made to be pressed. Where is the on-off switch? What is that? That is a stockpile switch. Okay, so this is this is stuff I've never seen. But why are those stones not moving? I need to find this button to press because I want to see the trains being unloaded back in, in, the, in the warehouse. But nevertheless, Tango, this is... This is an incredible looking building. What is that? Man, I love the combination between all the like... Uh, new blocks we've got from the chipped mod i need to start using those because i haven't really done much with them just look at that that looks so neat and even a little like a cobblestone pile in the back but i'm thinking there's gotta be a button somewhere right i'm just kind of like where is this button about i want to press the button but i just can't find it nevertheless hopefully this works and the building itself looks absolutely phenomenal I love the tango. Wow. Just wow. 
<sighs> okay, so this is a building which ZF and Bubbles been working on. I believe ZF done the, the, the farms on the inside and Bubbles done the building. But I mean, like it's just, just, okay, I can't really go down there to show you from distance. <sighs> like the stained glass from the chip mod. If, you, if you're looking for a mod, chip mod is the mod because there's so many new blocks. Oh, who pooped? You know, <laughs> I believe that is our train driver. But hey, oh, this looks amazing. So this is going to be a future, uh, what you want to call it? A future apple factory or candy apple? I'm not really sure what you call them. <laughs> Chipped mod, fruit barrels. There's something in the chip mod which has, is it? No, that's a golden. Honeyed apple. It's going to be this one, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So you take an apple with honey and it becomes this. And that should be like a super amazing food source. I mean, just look at all the block variations. This is crazy. And a beautiful staircase going up as well. Ah, <sighs> Like, I'm amazed. Like, this mod and bubbles, especially getting this stuff out. And look at that. Is that like air conditioning thingy majiggies? I, I don't know what it is. But it looks, it looks amazing. Can you even go up? Okay, this is a little bit of a, a, a strange staircase, but it's a staircase. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous. Oh, so honey is being collected in those tanks over here. Hmm, interesting. I'm wondering if it is being pumped out somehow. It can't be because we don't have a, a honey train, nor an apple train, right? What is down over here? Okay, I'm still looking for the button because I'm thinking like it is a remote thingy, so it might be hidden somewhere over here. But what is, what is this whole contraption about? Oh my. Okay, what have I missed? Is this, okay, this might be super sport. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things to press. Don't do it, Corrales. I, I gotta press something. Okay, so this might be something I break, but... No way. Okay. T Tango. Woo! Are you kidding me? Okay, how do I get that back? Is it this one? Okay. Uh, Tango. I mm, might not be that one, but close enough, I guess. Like, this is so cool. Man, this mod. This mod. Like, there, there's unlimited possibilities you can do with it. But dang it, where is the button? Oh, you know what I noticed, by the way? No. Uh, you know what I noticed, by the way? Somebody has connected to the train network. And I do believe it might be Zedaf. It is Zedaf. Hey, he's got a beautiful sheep and a train. Okay, I'm not going to go in there just in case of spoilers, but this is so cool. Okay. We're going to have more trains on the train tracks and it's going to be just amazing seeing them just swishing about all over the place. But, but, but Zedaf, we need to talk. We need to talk because this wobbliness is killing me on the inside. I'm so sorry. I have been fluffing about for about 20 minutes and I have accomplished nothing. But what goes with today's episode? I'm thinking like this. Like every time I see this, I get so sad. Like waking up in the morning, opening up my front door, back door, side door, whatever door it is, coming out over here and it's like, ah... <sighs> It's, it's a big mess. We have a beautiful swing, a flower. This is kind of nice as well, but there is nothing else. So I want to do home improvements in today's episode. I'm thinking like a beautiful backyard. And then also I'm thinking we have those two platforms, right? Oh, yes. We need to get a little like a steam engine to power that wheel as well. Because for reasons unknown, decoration. But I'm thinking like this. So we have our little depot over here. We go up over here, we press the button, we drive out our little beautiful train over here, which in the future is going to go down all the way in a wobbly, wingly way into the city, right? But how are we going to park them back inside again? So we're going to have a train track, hopefully on the back of the house, super tightly squeezed in over here. And that is going to be going in that way. Those two train tracks from the platforms are going to be merging and wibbly wobbly wingly road or train track all the way down into the city somehow. And then the trains coming back could just go over here like choo 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 and uh, merge into that, go into the platforms and then reverse into the depot. Is, is that a plan? 
I, I, I think so. But first, Zedaf wanted to meet up, so let's head over to Zedaf's. Okay, everybody, I see you all have your backpacks strapped on tightly. We do. Yes. We do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, prepare I'm to excited. be amazed, fellas. So, yeah, we, we've had Elytras now, right? And we all know they're not very yeah. creative. Mm, they're a bit No, meh. no, they are me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I decided to call up Da Vinci himself and um, have him make us a little something something. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll just I'll just show you here. Check check this out. Ready? I'm going to jump off the cliff and oh. prepare to be amazed. You're not wearing Elytra, though. Hey, ho! <gasps> oh! <laughs> it flappeth! Dude! Are you, Are you kidding? Look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love being upstairs. Hold on, I gotta sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sleep nice first. and everything, but yeah, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> hey, have a go, guys. Fly around. Okay, I, need, I, I want to fly. See too. Hold on, okay. I'm get the right cam mode here. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's flappy bits. Look at it. This is oh, incredible, Zeno. Oh, 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 my guy's hanging on like a little thing. There's like a shelf he's on or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a proper... Oh. So this is pronounced an ornithopter, I believe, is the proper... Oh, that's amazing. ...pronunciation. Oh, when I turn this the is... tail flips and everything. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, so, I'm so happy. I, I'm Obviously, speechless. This is We're going to be using trains for like greatest. long distance travel, but hey, we can feel a bit better about using the Elytra I now, right? don't feel so bad now. Oh, <laughs> can wow. you attach a horse to it? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, these are the real questions. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love this. I mean, hey, this, I've got a. There's wow. a chick, where's that chicken gun? Like, look underneath. Yeah. There's a little, like, a little laying down plat. Oh, Zeta. Isn't it? Awesome? It's, it's a great thing that you lay on. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the little wooden bed. I have chicken. Peter's uh -oh, going to be happy. Pig. The first ornithop the chicken clockificator. Go. Here I go. Oh, he oh, pooped. Oh, it's working. <laughs> He's the proudest of all proud chickens right now. Look at him go. Oh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Well, yes, this is this is my gift to you guys. Oh, um, Zed, you're the best. Zed. Uh, oh, what a gift. Enjoy. This <laughs> makes oh. everything better. Now I have no guilt using my Elytra. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely, absolutely. But we'll still tr we'll still be training. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't of worry. course, we'll be training course. all over. But when when you need to go from a little low place to a little high place, a, a nice ornithopter Skadoodle. will do the trick. Do it in style. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Like, as Tango said, like, there is no guilty feelings using the Elytra now because this just feels so, so create. It's beautiful. By the way, do I get my bunny slippers on when I'm using it? <laughs> yes, I do. I have like flight slippers. <laughs> Love it. Like, this is, this is just too good. Zed off. This is a fantastic gift. But hey, credit where credit is due. So we have figure adaptation, which is the mod we're using. Lisa Misa, Apollo Dot, Codex 404, and Dreading 2000 for the original model. You guys are amazing. This is like the best thing I've seen in Minecraft ever. This is such a good looking model. And it, oh, but now it is time to start our backyard. Okay, it's going to be scary, hairy, and very lady very very soon but uh, i'm thinking like this i want to have a little bit of paths having this nicely laid out underneath we're gonna have maybe an entrance somewhere about because now i'm jumping back and forth on those not the greatest and i also want to have a little pond maybe uh, maybe over here you guys mind me using this as a pond no perfect and i've seen i think it's the chipped mod which has beautiful like water lilies so I guess you just take like a, a normal lily pad and convert that using a little, like a little benchy thingy. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so it's a botanist's workbench and you can get all those thingies. So if I would take this, I can just convert that into all those. Need to find, need to find myself a, a, a swamp. I don't think I've seen a, like a Minecraft swamp yet. But also, when it comes to trees, I want to have... 
I think we have the ebony trees just not far away this way. Like, I mean, I, I, oh, this is too good. Also, this is super cool. Like this little like crevasse, uh, whatever you're going to call it. This is, this is where I kind of thought like I might have my base around this place. I even put down a little like thingy here. It's super cool looking. Like, just look at this. So cool. But uh, yeah, there they are. Nope, that's the baobab. There's the baobab. I think it is this way somewhere about. And yeah, the ebony trees. Here they are. I think they look super good. Not sure what is it about them, but I just love like this, this brown dark color and then the color of the leaves. So maybe we could just use some of those of you. Oh, fox! What does the fox say? Where did you go? It's gone now. But, but yeah, using the... The ebony trees. Oh, by the way, if 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 I sound strange, I'm sick again. I swear, like, ever since I got COVID last year or whatever it was, I've been sick like twice a month. It's terrible. Terrible. So so sorry, but I'm doing my best. So we're gonna have them maybe mixed with some... What is that over here? Not the creeper itself, but... That is a cool-looking mushroom. I don't think I've seen that guy yet. But maybe that mixed it up with some spruce trees... There is... no, that's maybe not that. There is a little spruce forest here somewhere about. Ooh, maybe you can do like a little zen garden using the, the cherry trees. They would be kinda cool. Oh wow, that's a beautiful flowers. But yeah, maybe having the ebonies mixed with some... Um, some spruza, like th those big spruza trees. Because they come in orange, red, and some other colors. Nope. I think that is just a normal spruce forest. Yeah, it is. Well, not a normal one, but just, just a ordinary. So let me get some stuff going. And I'm going to bring you guys in as soon as I have something to show. But I want to make my backyard cozy. You know what I feel like? I feel like I'm in Avatar. The first one. Many, many hours later, we have a thing. And may I say that with shaders, this looks phenomenal. Can you just imagine just sitting here, like a soul, and embracing this little, like, zen garden? With shaders, because without shaders, whee! But I'm going to turn them off, because my, my, my computer is kind of melting. So, it is not done, but it is done for, for, for today at least, because I, 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 I just can't take placing more blocks uh, around this place. But we're going to have, like, I think, having, like, curbs here around this, using the micro blocks uh, all over the place. I think that's going to look really snazzy. But... At least, like, waking up in the morning and coming out. Ta -da -da. It's, it's gonna be quite nice. Over here, I'm thinking, like, you see, like, there's no chest over here. I'm thinking maybe having, inside of this mountain, having a little, like, storage area in the future. Like, the main storage area could be there. And this is gonna be, like, retractable because of trains. Okay. I, 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 no, 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 my patience ran out, so I'm not going to do more than this, for, for, for today at least. But uh, now we have a train track, so it's going to be merging in here. You can go into the platforms, but you could also reverse it in into the, into the depot. If wanted, that is. But man, I, no, you know what, I'm liking it. And also, yes, I did a little staircase here now, and we have, ba-bam, an entrance. So I don't have to parkour over, over the, 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 the grass blocks anymore. I need to kind of fix the swing because it's semi-broken now. But uh, I'm liking it. And up here, I'm thinking, I kind of want to do one of those steam engines. And I'm going to have like a house for that as well. This, this obviously, we're going to have a roof on, on this um, <laughs> later on. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I pinky promise. It's going to be a beautiful roof and there's going to be a house with the steam engine over here. And this will be covered up. But uh, what do you guys think? The Zen Garden. Let me just... Shaders. <gasps> like, it just looks so good. In 20 FPS. But, but, yeah. I kind of wish, like, Minecraft were more optimized. It just would be a complete game changer having this optimized for shaders. Just seeing the sun rays just hitting everything. Ah. But you know what? Let me just go down to Tango. I'm going to see how he done... Uh, then he's a little steam engine, so I'm not going to do as big. I just want to have a small one, which produces more power than that one, so I can power my wheels somewhere behind the bushes. And yeah, I used the, 
The yellow spruce tree? Not, not sure about it. I'm kind of thinking like maybe we should have just used the, the cherries for the Zen garden. The cherry blossom trees. But uh, it is what it is. Just, just, just embrace this. Shaders. <sighs> okay, let's go down to Tango and let's check out his little steam engine. Thingy Majiki. Oh, by the way, ZF came by with honeyed apples. Mmm. Thank you, ZF. And yes, I did mention his train tracks. He will fix them. Hopefully, one day. The thing is that I have no idea what I'm looking at. Okay, so we have blaze burners. We have some water. Okay, that is pumping in stuff into a boiler, which then sets off steam. And then what? It's better than yours? Oh, okay, so there's... Um, okay, so there is dripstone, and that is being picked up through those fluid pipes up where? <laughs> oh, this is what happens when, when I complete... Okay, there it goes. So that goes in here, into the water wheel, which is... How does this even operate? That would be driving me crazy, aesthetically wise. But it, it works. So that pumps into that, and then... Do I... <clears throat> Ew, okay, so that is the steam engine. And then we have some type of shaft that spins about. It looks amazing. However... Um, Frame-wise, not so great, but it does produce quite a bit of stress units each, right? So that is 227 each, and he's got quite a few. And I believe this will power the whole industrial district. And I just need maybe nine of those. I need to figure this out. I think I figured it out. And Tango, you are a genius. So I'm here in my little test world, which is... Well, completely empty and i've been playing around with this for about maybe half an hour and it works and this is incredible like this little arm thingy i didn't know that was so amazing in the game you can do so much with those uh, the mechanical arms so this is what i've got and i think this tank uh, itself could be even bigger than it is and currently with this size of a tank and nine of those um, steam engines we're producing about 145,000 or 46,000 stress units. That is insane. Just, just look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah get some flywheels as well going. Because why not? Okay. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be needing any more or any bigger. This is 10% capacity. I mean, that is just nine steam engines. And the thing about this, the thing about this is that it does not require any type of uh, any type of farm, tree farm, kelp farm, uh, or whatnot. This is just self-sufficient with the, with the lava things. Uh, obviously, we might need more of those, but I, no, that is 218, 219 buckets. That should be enough. Like, I'm so happy because this is absolutely incredible. So as soon as one of those blaze thingies run low this arm picks up a new bucket delivers it to the little blaze or light it up and get the little empty bucket into this which goes into this system and back and forth back and forth tango your face your face is amazing so what i need to do now i need to kind of come up with a design which is much smaller than this uh, for my own needs but I think that should be doable. Nothing I'm going to do today because this has taken far too long for me to kind of figure out. But, 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 but I guess, I guess for the next episode. And yeah, you guys let me know. But, but, but I think like this is going to be enough. This tank could be bigger, as you can see, I think. Uh, but nine of those, we can even remove a row and just have six of them for laggy purposes or to minimize lag. But that is a lot of stress units. And I'm still thinking about having it over here. Because I don't think it's going to interfere with our storage room. Because it's going to be compact. But and then again, this could be an entrance to the, like, to the lava room. But having a factory building here, we're going to have a beautiful roof on this building. I think it's going to be a nice skyline. Not really skyline, but you know what I mean, right? Let me just see here. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah we won't be able to see it really. But I think... Nah, it's going to look cozy. And then having like some farms in the background, maybe even a bigger depot with more trains. I think, I think we're onto something. I think it's going to look absolutely snazzy and amazing. What you guys think? I'm going to do that in the next episode. 
And I really want to get back into trains because Tango's done that and now I can do more trains and more farms. But let's just enjoy this. Shaders. <sighs> Everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I, I'm hoping you enjoyed I'm sorry about my voice, but we're going back to weekly episode of Crete. Mm -hmm. Weekly episodes. Uh, not a pinky promise, but almost a pinky promise, right? But let me know what you think about the little Zen Garden of ours. And also, there's going to be a little message from today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. So I would be super grateful if you could just stick around and, and watch a little segment, because that helps the channel a lot. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next episode. But, uh... Ah, namaste. So for a while now, I have been wanting to gather all my online presence, such as videos, social media links, giveaways, merch, and even display posts from my social media profiles on one single site so I can easily connect with you sweet faces. And I came across Squarespace and liked their all-in-one platform, and they've been kind enough to sponsor me in this video, so Squarespace, thank you so much. Even though I enjoy designing in Minecraft when it comes to designing websites, well, I'm a complete noob. Luckily for me, Squarespace makes it easy for anyone to create a stunning, professional-looking website no previous design or coding experience required. Just choose from their wide selection of templates or customize your own design to make your website truly unique. And with their mobile-optimized websites, your content automatically adjusts so it looks amazing on any device. It also offers advanced features to help you manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on an easy to use platform. So if you're planning on setting up a website, look no further, cause Squarespace has it all. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain.